Hello, how? Como está? My name is Victor, and today I'm going to share with you guys what my setup is for content creation or just, I don't know, travel films. I usually just bring a camera with me everywhere anyways, but ultimately, I just want to share what's in my camera bag, travel bag. Of course, first up is the camera bag. This is the Wander Provoke 31 liter, and it's suits everything that I need. It has secret pockets. It has the space so that I can put all of the gear that I need and also the clothes and the travel essentials that I need to bring when I'm on a short trip somewhere. It's also weather resistant and it has a rain bag so that in case it pours, your gear is safe with this bag. Let's talk about the camera. Usually that would be the a7 IV, but so far I wanna bring the FX3 with me everywhere in my next few travels because it's my main camera and that I haven't been giving it some love and I wanna use it to the stuff that I wanna use it for, not just for my production needs. I've been focused solely on the FX30 and the a7 IV with this channel. For the lens, it's gonna be the Sigma 28 to 70 millimeter 2.8 because it's like it covers the whole thing and I don't need to bring multiple lenses. But again, if I am testing out something, I'm gonna switch that out to whatever lens that I need to test out. Next up, I bring another camera with me, but it's not a Sony. It's actually this Fujifilm X100F. And I just use it for things that I wanna quickly take a photo of. And this just straps into my body. But if I do need to take the FX30 with me for testing or for a video, or even the a7 IV, then I would leave this guy and bring that second camera with me. Now in terms of battery, I only bring two extra Sony batteries with me because I'm not really shooting a lot in terms of travels. Like I'm there to experience some things and then when I see a shot that looks good and that is super interesting and that's the only time that I will start recording. So I don't usually go through one battery per day. So I mean, two extra batteries is more than enough. But if I am bringing two Sony cameras, then I would bring another extra one in total of five batteries, two inside the cameras and three extra ones. For the Fuji film, I don't bring any extra batteries because again, I'm I shoot a lot of photos, but the battery life on this one lasts for a day or two, at least maybe a day and a half if I'm constantly using it. And I just charge the battery using the USB-C so I don't need to carry a lot of batteries with me while traveling. And it also saves some weight for my backpack. This is a two-in-one polarizer and a variable ND filter. And this fits my need for a lot of the stuff. And it's just to shoot S-Log3 outdoors when it's broad daylight because we're at such a high ISO that we need to really put an ND filter. Second one is my ProMist filter. I love ProMist. It just gives you that highlight bloom and it just makes it a little bit more filmic and a little bit more stylized and Sometimes I bring it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just add it in post. I'm very minimalistic in terms of my gear. The less I bring, the happier I am because I'm focused on one thing rather than like, oh, do I need a filter on this? Or do I need another pro mist on this? You know, things like that. So this is Yulanzi's new travel tripod and that it's also carbon fiber like the old one and that you can also extend the center head like this so that it's like as kind of tall as me. I'm 5'9 and that uh, this is like, I think 5'8, five, 5'7. Five, so this video tripod has a video head and that it you can actually pan it and tilt it as well. The only concern I have is that whatever camera that you use with a heavy lens, it's always gonna tilt down. And with a video tripod, you kind of want to balance it so that like, you can kind of just twist and turn very easily so that it's not like weighing heavily on one side. But you're gonna have to trade the convenience of the F38 mount of balancing the tripod head and all you have to do is kind of just lock it so that it stays in place, but you won't be able to like do a smooth motion with it. Generally when you're using a tripod video head, you kind of just want to balance it into the middle so that pans and tilts are fluid, kind of like you're balancing a gimbal every time you pan or tilt, it's gonna be perfectly smooth. It also has this integrated foam mount. It has a hook so that you can kind of just like put your bag in here. So it's like more stable. Then under here is actually an 
integrated phone mount where you can and then you can just put it on the base plate and use a tripod with your phone. So another issue with this tripod is the legs and the, its locking mechanisms. It's kind of hard to unlock and lock too because it's just cumbersome. Like you have to twist it and sometimes you don't know if it's fully tightened or if it's fully unlocked. And to unlock it, you have to touch the feet where it touches the ground, but you're always gonna get your hands dirty with it. So that's kind of just unsanitary to me. And also the longevity of the threads. This is kind of prone to over tightening because you really want to have your legs on the tight position so that it's not moving, especially when you are shooting something because if one leg collapses in the middle of a shot, your camera's at risk, your shot is at risk, and that it's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> but if you have something similar like my setup, you're gonna wanna buy the Zero Y tripod, which I have right here, and I love that tripod. This one, could use an improvement, but overall, great product for a smaller camera setup. Sometimes I do vlog for extra content or, you know, sometimes I might need to shoot a video while traveling, then I bring this guy with me. This is the Rode Video Mic Pro. I've had this for a very, very long time. I think this was my first purchase after my A6300 because I wanted to be uh, YouTuber at that time and uh, lo and behold I am one now but I want to shrink this down into a DJI mic because all I care about is getting good audio from the two from the subjects which is usually me and my girlfriend while we're traveling but this is also good because a shotgun mic is also versatile I usually bring my MacBook Pro M1 Pro 16 inch but I wish I bought the smaller one because 16 inch is a little bit big for travels making it more compact i think would be good or maybe i should invest in a macbook air or an ipad pro either way it's good for what it is because i can use it as a power hub and also i can edit on the go it's a very very capable laptop this is i don't know i actually just got this from the us i ordered it from uber eats from ever evergreens or what is it called Walgreens, Walgreens is what it is. Yeah, so I've been just using this. I used to have the Logitech, like the silent one. It's also small, it's like very similar to the size, but I lost it, so this is now my replacement. I usually use this one. This is the Logitech MX Master 2S. I need to fix it, so. And another tech that I bring is the Nintendo Switch OLED Edition. This is like one of my favorite things to bring just in case I'm traveling somewhere and like maybe I'm on the plane. I love video games. I'm a big video game fan and I've always been a gamer ever since. Uh, but just right now I'm trying to balance gaming and producing content and being creative. Next up that I bring is a tech pouch made by Side by Side. This is very stretchy and that you can fit a lot of wires and like cables into here. I put my MacBook charger on here and all the stuff that I need to charge my cameras, my, my Apple Watch, uh, everything that I need to bring to travels, it all fits in here. And it's just super easy to stay organized. Been using it for quite a bit and the quality is amazing. It's all black, it's like smooth and there's a lot of compartments inside where you can kind of organize your wires, your SD cards, or whatever small stuff that you can put on this tech pouch. And as usual, I'm giving away my Sunset Film Lot Pack, and all you have to do to win is comment down below what bag do you use for your travels? I'm a big fan of bags, and I'd love to know what you guys use. If you want to see another video of mine, click on this video right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. No, I'm not.